Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Andrew White. The church is to follow the Saviour's rule. August 19th. Be first reconciled to thy brother, then come and offer thy gifts. Matthew chapter 5 verse 24. Those who are appointed to guard the spiritual interests of the church should be careful to set a right example, giving no occasion for envy, jealousy or suspicion, ever manifesting that <coughs> the same spirit of love, respect and courtesy they desire to encourage in their fellow church members. Diligent heed should be given to the instruction of God's word. Let every manifestation of animosity or unkindness be checked. Let every root of bitterness be removed. When trouble arises between church members, the Saviour's rules should be strictly followed. All possible if efforts should be made to effect a reconciliation, but if the parties stubbornly persist in their variance, they should be suspended till they are, can harmonise. Upon the occurrence of trial in the church, let all members examine their own hearts to see if the cause of trouble does not exist within them. By spiritual pride, a desire to dictate, an ambitious longing for honour or position, a lack of self-control by the indulgence of passion or prejudice, by instability or lack of judgment, the church may be disturbed and her peace sacrificed. Difficulties are often caused by vendors of gossip, who whisper hints and suggestions, poison unsuspecting minds and separate the closest friends. Mischief makers are seconded in their evil work by the many who stand with open ears and evil hearts, saying, Report, and we shall report it. This sin shall not this sin should not be tolerated amongst the followers of Christ. No Christian parent should permit gossip to be repeated in the family circle or remarks to be made disparaging the members of the church. Christians, <coughs> Christians should regard it as a religious duty to repress a spirit of envy and emulation. They should rejoice in the superior reputation of prosperity of their brethren, even when their own characters are, or achievements seem to be cast in the shade. We should, seek, we should seek for the true goodness rather than greatness. Those who possess the mind of Christ will have humble views of themselves. They will labor for the purity and prosperity of the church and be ready to sacrifice their own interests and desires rather than to cause dissension among their fellow members. Homeward bound.